Okay, thank you for inviting me. I'm John Bowling, and I'm a child and adult psychiatrist, and I've worked in the community for about 40 years, wow. dealing with children and adults mm -hmm. and the elderly. And I've evolved a model called the Mandala Open-Centered, Soul-Centered Model. Mm -hmm. The reason I felt I needed to evolve a new model, because the model I was trained in in uh, the universities really was not totally relevant to treating children that I was working with and treating the population of people that I was working with because many of these children and adults were showing up in the clinics with what I would consider soul-centered phenomena or phenomena that would not be considered psychiatric illness but spiritual illness. And they were being misdiagnosed as schizophrenic, delusional, hallucinating, paranoid, etc. And I protested that and many times when I would protest it and say, well, these are phenomena of the culture of soul, mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite supervisors one day said, what culture is this you're talking about? Don't you know you have no other culture than that which we as Europeans have given to you? Wow. And I said, oh no, I don't believe that. But she said, well, if you do have such a culture of soul, why hasn't someone shown how it relates to human development, perception, cognition, mm -hmm. etc.? And I said, well, I can't do that, and I don't think most of us could do it, because from kindergarten through my 14 years of graduate work, no one's ever told me about my culture, that I've been only trained in European culture. So I'm looking at the world through European eyes. We all, black people, mm -hmm. look at the world through European eyes, because you know, we're not trained right. what our culture is. So, but give me time and I will do some research. Mm -hmm. And then since I said, well, you know, I came into psychology because psyche means soul and ology means the study of. Mm -hmm. So I came expecting to study the soul. So where's the soul in the study of the soul? And they said, well, we do not study the soul. What? We study the mind, the mm -hmm. rational, logical, scientific mind. I said, well, that's not the soul because <laughs> the soul is something different mm -hmm. uh, from just the rational, logical, scientific mind. But the whole of Western psychology, because it wants to be a science, mm -hmm. has deleted the soul. So you're there to study something that's not there. Mm -hmm. So my quest and my mission was to try to find what happened to the soul, why it was deleted from the study of the soul, and what can we now do to reintegrate the soul. And my research showed that it was deleted because it primarily related to the feminine aspect of our development. And not only the feminine, but the black feminine, the black mm -hmm. goddess, the great mother. And the great mother has been encouraged civilization and humanity and the evolution of the human mind and personality and person uh, for about a hundred and more than 160,000 years before there ever was the patriarchy wow. and the evolution of the left brain. Mm -hmm. The left brain is a newer brain, the rational, logical, scientific brain, but before that everything was under the control of the soul. And the soul is the right brain and it's related to the heart center. So if you go into any of the museums and look at the Afro, the, the Egyptian statues, mm -hmm. they always step off, they have the left foot extended while mm -hmm. they're sitting or standing. And that means that their consciousness is related to the right brain, to the feminine, the nature side, mm -hmm. and the heart. And back in those days, the heart was a center of knowing and the, know and the center of reality rather than the head. Only with the for the last 5,000 years with the evolution of the patriarchy and the rule of men has it shifted to the head. Mm -hmm. And the, the right brain then was deleted. That, a lot of that deletion you can see in the Bible. In the first Genesis, mm -hmm. uh, most people are not aware that there are two creations in the book of Genesis. In Genesis 1, there's a creation of Lilith and Adam, and Lilith is the black goddess in the Garden of Eden, and she's the first wife of Adam. 
and they get to arguing over who is going well the Bible says and Adam says you must lay beneath me mm -hmm. in the first chapter and she says I refuse to always be beneath you I will be on top half the time <laughs> uh, so because she was so dominant if you go into the Torah where our books come out of the Bible come mm -hmm. out of the Jewish Torah mm -hmm. and the Talmud they said that they then God threw Lilith out of the garden because she was too aggressive and so forth and so on. And then Adam roamed the world for about 500 years. And then he wanted to have another mate. And so God in chapter 2 creates Eve. Mm -hmm. But they bring Lilith back into the garden as a serpent in the tree. Because all black goddesses, all the great mothers were known as serpent mothers. And serpent mother means that they could desquamate or slough off a part of their bodies mm -hmm. and regenerate life through menstruation. And only females can do that. Mm -hmm. So they were known as serpent mothers. So they bring Lilith back into the tree as the serpent who then um, beguiles Eve with mm -hmm. the apple. So that was one of the pictorial forms of the repression of the, the mother and the soul of the world. But as Greeks came out of Egypt and they stood where they studied the philosophy, because even philosophy means lover of Sophia. Philo means brother or lover, and mm -hmm. Sophia means, Sophia was, at, uh, was King Solomon's wisdom. She was known as the Shulamite. And Sophia is the wisdom in, mm -hmm. the, in the Old Testament, and she is Solomon's Sof uh, Shulamite. So, um, with that suppression of Sophia and wisdom, then we're left with just the rational, logical left brain. So, Many books are being written now by philosophers. One, Carl Jung, one of Carl Jung's favorite students, mm -hmm. John Dorley. And Carl Jung always criticized Western Christianity as being really partial and lopsided. <laughs> uh, and that one of his major students, John Dorley, he's mm -hmm. a priest mm -hmm. and an analyst. And his book is The Illness That We Are. And it says that Western Christianity has created illness throughout the world. And the only way to really balance that now is to reintegrate the concept of the feminine, mm -hmm. the black goddess, mm -hmm. and also the concept of evil. Because mm -hmm. every religion has both a left hand of God and a right hand of God. And if you have deleted all your negatives and your and you think you're only good and positive, then you've become evil, and you've become negative, and you're torturing other people about something you have not resolved within yourself. And that's what the book is all about, is the fact that we, Western Christianity should begin to balance mm -hmm. the negatives and the positive on their own negative shadow, mm -hmm. which is a part of the black goddess. She spoke, she says, I am... All that has been, all that is, and all that will ever will be. be. I'm the whore and the holy one. Wow. I'm both the negative and the positive. positive. And she says, you know, she says, when they repressed her, she says, I will return. Mm -hmm. And her return date was supposed to be around 2001. Mm -hmm. And we know in 2001, the soul of the world, the Greeks call her Black Gaia. And right now, many people around the world, uh, there's a Gaia movement. In New York, we have Gaia restaurants, mm -hmm. Gaia food, Gaia clothing. They are really researching and integrating her. It's us who are negligent mm -hmm. and running in the opposite direction, afraid to understand who she is. But she's Mother Nature, and she is coming in very strong. And a couple of weeks ago, she went through the South. And people now hopefully know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the Jewish the Jewish books call her the Shekinah, and the Shekinah or the mm -hmm. Shekinah is the left column of the Kabbalah, and she's known as the Mother of Severity. Mm -hmm. She cleans things up. She puts things in order, and we are definitely out of order. So she's here to 
put things in order. And so theologians are saying this is her millennium. We are mm -hmm. out of the millennium of the Father. We went through the millennium of the Son. Mm -hmm. And now we're in the millennium of the Holy Spirit. And she's known as the Holy Spirit. The mother. The mother. Mm -hmm. And she's also the soul of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what the Greek philosophers call it, Gaia, the mm -hmm. soul of the world. So when Pope John Paul died about three or four years ago, mm -hmm. he dedicated his death to the black Madonna, the one that we see on the picture, the, oh. the Maya, the, 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 the virgin of Tetrawa. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said on his deathbed, he bypassed the College of Cardinals, who mm -hmm. always was his governing body, and they always were against him worshiping the Black Madonna. But he bypassed them on his deathbed, and he sent from he sent for three monks from Poland, mm -hmm. and he gave them the instructions to fashion two golden crowns, take them to the chapel of the Black Madonna, place one on her head and one on the head of the child, because she's my mother, and I want her to have this departing gift from an adoring son. It came on one channel, mm -hmm. Channel 7 News, because 7 is her number. Mm -hmm. So she chose that channel to come on. Tom Brokaw announced it. And from that day forward, it has been whited out. You'll never hear it again. I taped it, so I have it on tape. Because <laughs> I never heard it. I have it on tape. Okay. I went on the internet and downloaded it onto <laughs> a tape. And... Uh, now when they say, he says, take it to the chapel, they say, take it to the chapel of Mary. Mm -hmm. But Mary is not the Black Madonna. Mary is an avatar of the Black Madonna. So the question is that since she's been deleted mm -hmm. from the study of psychology in the West, and Carl Jung also wrote a book, Martyr Man in Search of a Soul, that if we didn't find the soul soon, that we would be in catastrophe. And that's what Martin Luther King also said in his last book, Where Do We Go From Here, Chaos or Community? And we, were, we chose, in the 60s, we chose the path of chaos. Mm. By no indication have we, you know, there is no manifestation mm -hmm. that we chose community. And there are only two, is either or. Either or. Mm -hmm. There's no in-between, as he said. So we're going through that aspect of the goddess, the underside. She's known as chaos and community. Mm -hmm. And uh, she shows up the way you call her. Mm -hmm. And right now we're calling the chaotic side of her. Wow. And we have to go through it now to get to community. So the question is, how do we now integrate mm -hmm. how do we integrate the soul so that it can be useful in our development mm -hmm. in our children and our family and our community and the world's development we've had enough warnings and we're slipping every day down a slippery slope of chaos so the question is you know what do we do mm -hmm. and how do we begin to how do we recapture the soul? Because there are much more, every day there are many, many indications that we are losing our soul as black folk. We used to have what we call our soul mm -hmm. in our music, in our every uh, walk of life. And things that are now being happening, like mothers driving off into the river with their children, were not things that happened in our culture. Uh... I, be, you, I do know that the civil rights movement of the 60s was not really a civil rights movement. It was not an integrationist movement. Mm -hmm. It's an amalgamationist movement. Amalgamation means you give up your culture in order to become us. Mm. And you give up what you believe in to be us. And us, we're being, we're being integrated into values totally alien to our culture. And we're losing our sense of soul. And I don't think that's the reason Martin Luther King didn't feel that's the reason for us being here, mm -hmm. was to lose our souls. He felt that we should be, we have, a, as the boys, W.E.B. Du Bois said, we have a gift of soul. Mm -hmm. 
And if we give that gift to the world, we can not only help ourselves, but help the, the world. world. 